This is the Odyssey of America's Truckers. When this can let me get along with go. Susan Moore has been sitting at a truck stop in the San Joaquin Valley for two days now, waiting for a load of citrus. She's discovered that her trailer's cooling unit isn't working properly, so she's got to make a 40-mile drive, hauling an empty trailer, and get it serviced before she can pick up a load. I've been driving for 18, going on 19 years. I've never had an accident. I can probably work lease on to any company that I wanted to. I have a very good record. And I love this job. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. To be a truck driver, it takes the kind of person that is independent, doesn't mind being away from home, the kind of person that can stand to be by themselves about 95% of the time and gets along pretty well with themselves. And it's not just a living. It's not just a job. It's a lifestyle. And I do like it. I've liked it ever since I started. I don't believe that a person could do this job for 18 years and not like it, because it is a lifestyle. Since I got into this business, it's changed in the ways that, well, the trucking industry has deregulated, which in one way it was good, in one way it was bad. Anybody that could scrape together enough money to buy a truck went out and bought one. So there are more trucks than there is freight, which means that the freight rates are not going up. Hey, Miller. I was having a little trouble with my reefer way. unit cooling, so I thought I'd better come over here to Glenn's Refrigeration. I looked up in the engine compartment, and I noticed there was a little leak there, and I seemed to have no Freon. So they're going to check my unit, and they'll probably change that dryer, and they will pump the system back up with R502 Freon. I do, but I've had this trailer so long, I know when it's not right. It's got plenty of compressor oil. I checked that first thing. That big box at the front of the trailer is the actual refrigeration unit itself. It cools like in your, your air conditioner in your car. It cools the coils and sucks the air through and then blows it out into the trailer. Well, now that's an easy problem. A few screws here, $60 worth of Freon, and away we go. Bill and Teresa McCartney took delivery of their new truck less than six hours ago, and they're not wasting any time taking it on a shakedown run. Every trucker knows the sooner their rig is hauling freight, the sooner it's paid for. Tonight, they're hauling a trailer of pharmaceuticals to Georgia. It's a busy life, but it's a good life. Yeah, we enjoy it. It's a way to meet the ends. It's a goal. It's something we know. We both can work at it together and keep our relationship solid. I, I grew up in the trucking business, and uh, I went to the service. When I got out of the service, there wasn't a lot of jobs around here. And to, you know, to support a family and so on, you do it, what comes natural and what you have to do to support your family. It's something that you love. It's not a job. It's a lifestyle. I've been at it 25 years, and I still enjoy it. I met Bill, and he was a truck driver, offered to take me out and teach me how to drive a truck. So here I am, 12 years later. Well, I drive 8 to 10 hours, and Bill drives 8 to 10 hours, and he usually takes care of the pickups and deliveries. and. We just switch off and on. Why do I do it? Because that's what I know how to do now. I've done it for so long that it's a career. It's 
it's not a set schedule, you know, sometimes you're a little bit tired as long as the other one has, has had their eight hours off duty or sleep or birth time and it's eligible to drive again. We're not really locked into any set schedule with our pickups and our deliveries. You know, it varies. But on the average, we try to run uh, 10 hour shifts. Uh, one person is responsible or drives for the truck for 10 hours and then they get to their off time and the other driver takes over. It's just a job. It's like anything else. At, at first, it was all new and exciting, and you know, you get to drive the big rigs and see the country, and then you learn after a while it's not all the TV commercials say it is. It's not. It's not that exciting anymore. It's just a job. It's you pay your bills. Well, not usually. We got uh, a couple inches of ice and freezing rain and it snowed uh, several days ago, but it, it didn't stay on the ground long. Uh, on up in the Blue Ridge, up on the parkway close to, to Gay Rocks, Virginia, they got six or eight inches up there. That's tobacco country. Yes, it is. Real tobacco country. What can I do for you, pal? Eddie Arnold with Leanne Rhymes. Can you imagine uh, going like that? Man. Gosh. Yeah. So you just open your mouth and let your tonsils backfire. <laughs> Two troopers.